Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Reporter asks how many Black Americans work at White House. Sanders flips the script big time. The White House gave troublemaker Omarosa the boot, and now they're facing claims of racism because she's black. Her being fired was because of her character, not because of the color of her skin. She was fired from the White House before Trump was president as well, so this is nothing new to Omarosa. Perhaps Omarosa would have learned by now how to be a good employee, perhaps someone who isn't secretly recording people in a building that should be primarily confidential. After Omarosa got fired, again, because she clearly can't cut it in the White House, the racism claims blew up out of nowhere. Had Omarosa been white, it would have just been another draining of the swamp, but Omarosa and her troublesome I'm just trying to sell my lousy book ways keep coming back to be bothersome to the White House staff. Sarah Sanders was asked how many back Americans work in the White House. First of all, who cares? Second, it doesn't matter who many do or don't, of any race. What matters is that people get their jobs done or they get fired like Omarosa and many others. Diversity in the workplace should not be the first thing that comes to mind. Are you doing a good job? That's what matters, and the best people for the job should always get the job, regardless of their skin color or sex. No job should be forced into meeting diversity requirements or putting diversity over their product. That's nonsense and everyone should know that by now. Every workplace should embrace a non-discriminatory hiring procedure, but they should also be allowed to give jobs to the most talented people based on their skills, not their skin color. We should not sacrifice the product or punish talent because of a diversity quota. That's a bad practice. Sarah Sanders blasted back at the reporter fairly sternly, putting that boot down solid and not backing up. She reminded the reporter that the White House valued diversity and has plenty of staff from different backgrounds. It's true. They do. But the reporter was fishing for some sort of response and Sanders didn't take the bait. It's a racial question, so of course, it will end up in the news. Why doesn't the NFL have a diversity procedure? Some teams are mostly black players, but that's because they are the best people for the job. Would you want some five-foot white guy playing linebacker? No thanks. I want the big guy out there who is going to crush Tom Brady's head like a coconut and send him packing into retirement with his model girlfriend. If we handled every job like we do with sports, then it's obvious that all the best people should always get the job, no matter what they look like. You want the best product, then you hire the best people. The rest who don't get hired can go practice somewhere else until they're ready to apply again. Daily Caller reported more on Sarah Sanders blasting back at the reporter with some facts. Sarah Sanders had a blunt response ready when asked how many black Americans work in the White House. Sanders was asked the questions in light of Omarosa's departure and recent claims of racism in the West Wing. A recent survey found that there are no black staffers in senior leadership positions in the White House. The reporter asked Sanders, can you tell us exactly how many African-American staffers there are in this building and is it a priority in the administration to reflect the diversity of the country? Sanders responded by saying that the White House values diversity and we have a large number of diverse staffers from various backgrounds both race, religion, gender. How many African-American staffers are there in this building? The reporter pressed. Look, Sanders snapped, I'm not going to go through and do a count. The same way I'm not going to do a sit-down and count on the staffs that are in your news organization. The reporter pointed out that 13% of the country is African American, to which Sanders replied, we would love to diversify our staff and continue to do so. We do think it's important. We're going to continue to work to make that happen. Data shows that newsrooms are broadly not as diverse by race and gender as the cities they reside in. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.